Thank you. District three, Jeff Coughlin. All right, I'll ditto, ditto all the above. Um, I may be able to defer discussion about a committee to uh, a study session, but I think that's definitely worth talking about. Um, and I just want to respond to one um, public recognition comment on the remote meetings that I believe the exact date is October 5th would be our last meeting unless we reauthorized. And I think the, the exact wording of why that was passed is in there. So I just want to refer um, the folks to that. And then I should have some slides coming up. Perfect. So yeah, the, fir the first slide is, is the is a bit of the downers. Some people, folks have mentioned the other ones are well, more fun. Um, but I didn't want to recognize this kind of local group that formed um, the Bremerton Ferry Coalition. Um, and they, they met in my district last night and I went to the meeting. Um, you know, and to summarize, no surprise, as many folks are, they're, I think, a little upset and frustrated by a couple of things. One is obviously the still being on the one boat service. The latest update from Washington State Ferries from September 13th is that the Bremerton route is not likely to be restored until spring, um, you know, along with two other routes as well. But that's a, it's another six months out. So that's, uh, that, that sucks. That's a technical term. Um, reliability, Bremerton is the lowest of all the routes. So by that same September 13th update, for the week of October, of, sorry, the week of August 29th, September 11th, Bremerton was at 53% reliability. Um, the best I can tell that's defined as the number of, of you know, on-time sailings that have been completed um, that are scheduled. Um, it's not 100% clear to me, but Bainbridge is showing 100% reliability and 95% considered full service. Uh, so there's the reliability aspect. And then there's the communication, just listening to folks last night. I heard a lot of stories about poor communication where um, there was a delay and they weren't notified or, or a cancellation that happened last second. And so uh, just frustration all around. And, and I think it's, you know, they're seeing it as Bremerton just seems to be put last. Um, and there's, uh, at least from what they're saying, there's not a good understanding of why. And, and there's obviously the perception that, you know, Bainbridge is getting prioritized as a higher income area. Um, and so I, I don't have a magic bullet. It's, you know, this is up certainly above our pay grade as a city council to, to you know, fix this statewide problem. I, I really did appreciate the, uh, the mayor's letter um, as one possible solution of asking the governor to support kids up transit fast ferry to fill some gaps. Um, I'll throw the idea out there and maybe we can discuss a study session that maybe council as well should, should consider writing a letter. Um, just in support, you know, I, I, it's hard to come up with a specific fix, as I said, but just so folks feel heard to lend our voice to the conversation to make sure that the the governor and state officials you know really know this is affecting folks in our community so i'll throw that idea out there um for next time uh, and the last couple slides that are a lot more fun is wanted to mention it's going to be senior day at the bremerton community farmers market um so i know can think some folks from the uh senior center over in manette there uh Home Helpers Care is teaching a fall prevention class, folks from Canterbury Manor, Meals on Wheels, et cetera. So a lot of great resources for our seniors at the farmer's market. And then the next slide is, thanks for folks bringing this to my attention, going, going on the other side of the age spectrum um, is the, uh, pardon that, the um, Kitsap Black Student Union is going to be hosting an event at the Marvin Williams Center um, coming up. And that is gonna have a lot of other groups that offer youth support and outreach. So make sure to stay tuned to that. And sorry that my watch will not stop beeping. All right, we're just gonna toss that over here. <laughs> last slide, wrap it up. Oh, that is the last slide. No, there we go. Uh, the last slide was really a giant thank you um, to, to staff and the mayor for attending um, and, for, and staff for presenting um, these public works projects at our joint district meeting with um, council member Fry and myself um, the other week. It was great to see about 25 people show up in person, several people on Zoom. Um, it's recorded and out there for folks who couldn't make it and want to watch it. But, uh, you know, really public work staff just went above and beyond putting together excellent presentations, um, taking feedback, listening to folks. So uh, I'm really excited for, for 11th and Perry, which is already in progress. And then it sounds like a lot of excitement out there for the Safe Roots to School project as well. So big thank you. Thank you. Thank you again. And I look forward to, you know, I think as council brainstorming on these and, and doing more of them. Thank you.